Buenas tardes. En primer lugar, bienvenidos a la rueda de prensa. Como podéis ver, hoy el míster lleva un brazalete azul eh, por el Día Internacional del Autismo, que es la, la semana que viene, el 2 de, 2 de abril, y daremos la rueda de prensa con el, con el brazalete en, en el brazo derecho del míster. Y bueno, como siempre, empezamos con las preguntas de aquí, previa para, para el partido del sábado entre el Castellín y el Recre. Enrique. Eh, hola. Hola. Eh, siempre, durante toda la temporada, Has hablado muy bien del recreativo de Huelva, donde en el grupo de equipos que podían pelear por el campeonato y diste mucho valor a, a ganar allí, en Huelva, que parece un buen equipo. ¿Qué es lo que te gustó tanto del recreativo? No, I think uh, they have a very good midfield, uh, creative. Um, I think we played there, we played a very good game, but, in, but there were also was a period in the game that we, were, we had it very difficult. Um, because they can keep the ball good, they can play good balls in between and in behind um, with the midfielders, uh, with the winger who comes on the inside, uh, creative uh, player. Um, so they have some good ideas. Um, they, you can also see that they do well uh, already for a long time. They, uh, Uh, I think the start was not that good what they wanted, but after that they recovered good. Um, and yeah, you also see now they really play for the playoffs, so they have also everything to play for. So it's going to be a very interesting game. Sí, que venía con el estado físico de, de algunos jugadores y eh, es pronto todavía el miércoles, pero creo que Borja no va a poder estar, Lars tampoco, de alguna razón más. Yeah, we still have Calavera uh, injured, and we also think that uh, Mamadou Traoré is not going to make it. So uh, that's it. Uh, further, um, Iago looks good. Um, he was, even that he was suspended, he was also a little bit injured. So hopefully, he can train tomorrow uh, full with the group. Um, and then we are confident uh, that he's in the squad. Hola, Dick. Hola. Eh, quedan nueve partidos por delante. Siempre se ha dicho que en los últimos diez es donde se, se pelea todo en este tramo final de temporada. Parece que esto eh, puede ser una pelea con el Córdoba sin descartar a Lidice y Almagra. ¿Cómo ves estas últimas nueve jornadas? ¿Cómo ves esa pelea por el, por el primer puesto, lo que queda de competición? Yeah, it's going to be very interesting because uh, it's not even uh, for us it is difficult, also for them. Um, and what I already said before, everybody has to play for something, even if it is relegation or for the playoffs or to win the league. Uh, so for me, this is going to be a nice, interesting and hopefully a very good time. Hey, buenas. Uh, hemos visto con el Castillo un sistema un poco diferente, con los medios más ofensivos, con Suero y Douglas. Uh, ¿Eso era algo específico para el partido del Castilla o es un, sistema, es un cambio que, que te planteas uh, mantener a, a largo plazo? Y segunda parte de la pregunta, ¿cómo has visto Douglas jugando al centro en vez de por la banda? Gracias. Oh, I think... I think we did it before. Uh, we also played with Harris there and uh, advanced and with Mojita, uh, who also is like maybe like a number 10. Um, for me, yeah, it's a little bit in the way how you look at it. Uh, we ro rotate a lot in midfield. Uh, now it's a little bit, it was a little bit less because also Julio and Al uh, Albert Lotin, they are a little bit different midfielders as what we maybe wanted to have there. Um, uh, Yeah, of course, we look at every game uh, uh, differently. Uh, now also uh, Mamadou is out, so we have, uh, we have to see how we're going to solve that. And yeah, on the other side, uh, the players who play now, they have to do good um, because before they didn't play, they, the other guys did better. Now they get a chance and now they do good. So they need to uh, perform also uh, every week, not only one or two games. Um, so I think it's good for the squad if you have that sort of uh, tension also, uh, because in, yeah, that is what you need when you want to win something. Hola, Dani, ¿qué tal? Buenos uh -huh. días. Te pregunto por una curiosidad. El otro día, en un día partido en Madrid, eh, cuando saltasteis al terreno de juego, en Córdoba ya había jugado, ya había ganado. Esta vez, el sábado, eh, se juega el partido de Córdoba en el Castillo a la misma hora. No sé si eh, te gusta que pase eso, jugar a la misma hora que el rival directo, si prefieres jugar después y salgo el resultado del Córdoba o no le das importancia? Uh, uh, no, for me, I, I don't mind. 
Um, probably in the end of the season, uh, probably the last two games, they play the same time. It's like in Holland also. Um, but yeah, for me, yeah, it is what it is. Um, in Holland, we also played on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or even Monday. So uh, there, uh, it's a little bit the same. So uh, we have no influence on that. The only thing what we can influence is our own result, and that is what we need to do uh, in our home game. <laughs> No, I think Manu did a good job when uh, uh, Dajiro was uh, suspended. Uh, then Dajiro came back and Madrid plays with a left back very high up. So, and we wanted to play with double 10. Um, and we already knew that uh, Meliano would, was not uh, playing. Um, so we decided to, to have their more defensively player. But I also know that Giro is a very attacking fullback or even more in the past, maybe in the youth, he was like a winger. So um, in the style, how we play, it doesn't really matter if you are a winger or a fullback. Also, when, uh, when Manu plays on the right side or even as a fullback, he plays very attacking. Uh, I think they did both well on the, on the right side and we just look per game what we think what we need. And uh, that is also what we do now. Yo quiero preguntarte Dick, por, por la pareja suelo de Miguel, que parece que está funcionando muy bien, si cree que le puede dar continuidad. Y por otro lado, ¿qué le aporta un futbolista como, como lo ten en el centro del campo? Uh, yeah, probably uh, Israel and Demi, they will play uh, together. Um, they did well, but um, I think there are more players who have a good connection with Demi because he's a, he's a player like that. Um, he, uh, he likes to connect with uh, other teammates. So he's doing that very well. Um, Loten, yeah, he's he's just new. He he played uh, now his second game. You saw a little bit that he had a little bit difficult game, uh, different than the other one. But it's all normal if you don't play for a long time and you come new in a team uh, with a different philosophy. You also need a little bit uh, time. Um, that counts uh, for him. That counts for Douglas. For uh, more uh, uh, players, they just need time, and we need to be patient in that. Sí, la última para mí. Uh, el Eric Retivo está pero para la quinta plaza y el Ceuta está presionando mucho por detrás. ¿Crees que van a venir a Castalia con más con una filosofía de no perder de, que de ganar? No, I think they need to win also. I think uh, um, everybody plays to win. Um, so, yeah, that's also what we do. Um, I don't think they come here for one point.